Welcome back. Remember this place? Oh yes. Weird Planet. A silly little world that this kingdom was brought to by a guy named Hubba. A long time ago. Holy smokes, the year's now 1002? I think it was like year 100 they first got here. And then like year 150 when Larry decided to mess everything up by trying to visit other planets. Yeah, you might remember, but Larry brought the whole army here and they were all attacked by sand spiders and sandworms and aliens with guns and it just didn't go very well. And also because of that whole thing, sandworms managed to find their way to their home planet. And because of that, things look a little rough. A lot of the farms were destroyed. And because of that, a lot of their food was lost. And these days, food is getting pretty scarce. It's gotten so bad that people have been seriously considering eating the lemon people. It's looking pretty rough out there. Their population has been decreasing steadily for a long time. And that's where Thomas comes in. You see, Thomas is a chill dude, and his favorite food is bread. And lucky for him, bread's the only food they could still produce. Maybe he doesn't know about any other food. I mean, wouldn't your favorite food be bread too if you'd only ever eaten bread? Something to think about for sure. And sure, they've got candy on this planet, but they already tried living off of just eating candy. And let's just say it was a pretty rough time. Yeah, it turns out you need to eat more than just candy. Who knew? You see, Thomas was a direct descendant of Hubba. And sure, that was 900 years ago, but he still remembered him. I know what you're thinking. Man, does this guy have just a crazy good memory? No, he's only 22. He's just heard the stories. Hubba is his great, 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 grandpa. And much like Hubba, Thomas was someone who liked to look for a solution. His world was starving to death. It was also full of old people. So many old people. But that wasn't something he could really fix. Not legally, anyway. You see, Thomas had heard the stories about the rocket ship that Hubba made a long time ago. The one that was destroyed during the journey. Thomas thought there must be a way to make another one of those. But he didn't know how to make it. He spent most of his days daydreaming on the farm of what he could possibly use to make a new rocket ship. Thomas tried asking his co-workers if they had any ideas. I want to build a rocket ship. What do you think I should try making a rocket ship out of? Oh, I'm so old. What do you think? Do you think it's possible to build a rocket ship and get out of here? Ah, I'm so old. Excuse me, I could really use your help. I'm trying to make a rocket ship so we can go to a planet that has food. Me, 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 me. I'm so old. Thomas realized it was up to him to save this kingdom. He was the only one who could stay awake longer than five seconds. At first, he tried making a rocket ship out of rocks. It blew up. Next, he tried making a rocket ship out of plants and trees. It blew up. He tried some things he's not too proud of. I'm conflicted. Do you think there's anything morally wrong with building a rocket ship out of cows in order to save your kingdom from starvation? Ah, I'm so old. Anyway, you can probably guess what happened next. Yep, it blew up. And just when Thomas felt like there was nothing he could do and maybe it was time to just give up, someone said something that changed his life forever. Man, you're working so hard they should really give you a medal for all your efforts. Oh my gosh, that's it. Making a ship out of cows, making a ship out of rocks. The answer was right in front of me this whole time. I was just too stupid to see it. I will make my rocket ship out of the leftover metal from the Cyberbots. Thomas asked the Lemon people to help him and they graciously agreed because they're so nice and also because they didn't want to get eaten. When they were done harvesting all the metal, it was time to build the rocket ship. The rocket ship was finally complete. Thanks to one man's courage and intellect, the kingdom was saved from starvation. Guys, good news. I've successfully built a rocket ship that will help us fly to another planet that has food. We're saved. We're so old. Uh, I'm not old. I'll go with you. And we're not old. We'll come with you. Oh, thank goodness. I was actually worried for a second that I was going to have to go by myself. The crew was all here and it was time to go out into the galaxy to find themselves a new home. I hope this works. Lift off in T minus five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. We're flying through space. They're really flying at supersonic, not supersonic, uh, faster than light speeds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. 
It was at this moment that Thomas realized something that he hadn't even thought of. He doesn't know where to go, and now he's got to stop and ask for directions. And he hates asking for directions. First, the crew stopped at Sand Planet to ask the Sand Spiders for directions, and uh, they didn't know. Next, they stopped at Rat Planet, and the rats didn't know either. Yeah, we've been looking for a cheese planet for a long time, and if we find it, well, we ain't telling you guys about it, that's for sure. Just as Thomas was beginning to lose faith in the cause, thinking that they were now destined to be lost in space forever in the search of food, he heard his co-pilot say words that no one had ever uttered before in the history of time and space. Good news, everyone. We landed on a planet full of bald people. And it was true. An entire planet full of only bald people. Surely they must have directions. Greetings, hairy outsider. Welcome to our bald-only planet. I'd love to say, come on in, make yourself at home. But only people without hair are allowed to live here. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just here with a simple question. Do you guys happen to know where a planet with green grass and trees and food is? Why, yes, of course. All you gotta do is fly towards the sun and right before you plunge into it, take a right turn. Cool, all right, we'll do that. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Oh, just one more thing before I go. Yeah, what is it? That guy over there in the red shirt? Yeah, what about him? He's not actually bald. His hair is just really faint. Oh my gosh. Anyway, see you guys later. How could you? You're a liar, and you should be ashamed of yourself, especially after we shared all of our bald secrets with you. Those were private. Now you're gonna pay, you hear me? You're gonna pay with your life. This is bald planet, not hair planet. Die, scum, die. Yikes, dude. Bald planet is crazy. Anyway, where were we? It was time to follow those directions that the very nice bald guy had given them. It was time to fly towards the sun. They're going so fast. And there it is, the sun. Thomas, shouldn't we slow down? We're headed straight for the sun. Wait, I'm not flying this thing. I thought you were flying this thing. If neither of us are flying this thing, then who is? Lemon guy, turn right. <coughs> Jeez. Yikes, that was close. But they survived. And now all they had to do was hope that that bald guy gave them the right directions. Kind of a bold move, putting that much faith in a bald guy. Or should I say, kind of a bald move. <laughs> Kind of a bald move. What do you guys think of that joke? Pretty funny, huh? Ah, dang. And that's when they saw it. Out their front window. In the distance, a green world. It looked a little rough, but it looked a lot better than where they were coming from. Unfortunately, they hadn't installed brakes in this thing, and they were approaching very quickly. Oh, no. We're going way too fast. I can't believe we came all this way just to die. They crash landed in the water, and they were all fine. They made it. Their new home. Wow. It's even better than they could have ever imagined. They wasted no time setting up a new village, and they made Thomas king. Because let's face it, this is all because of his plan. He's a hero. Man, if only the people back home could see them now. We're so old. Ah, uh, a happy ending. For them, at least. They've got a whole world to grow into. Green grass, trees, shiny rocks, and plenty of good soil to grow food in. You did well, Thomas. You did well. And now you've got this whole world to yourself as a reward. Wait a second. What's going on over here? There's a couple tents up here. Who's this guy? Benjamin. Well, gee, I hope he's friendly. Anyway, that concludes our story for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.